What's up, everybody? Jason here from jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2020 Tops Allen and Ginter Baseball 12 box case break. Pick your teams number five just sold out, where we're giving away $250 in break credit if you buy two or more teams. Now, remember, all the inserts, short prints, variations, and mini hits will ship. Remember, no veteran MLB Commons will be shipping. Those will all be donated to Cherry. But we did sell all the non-sport, non-MLB, non-baseball cards will be shipped to the non-sport spot. So just to let you guys know, um, all non-MLB team affiliated cards will go to this spot. And now of course, if you buy two or more teams, you get one entry into the giveaway. You buy two, four teams, you get two entries. You buy six teams, you get three entries, etc., etc. If you only buy one team, you will not be entered to win. Top five win 50 bucks in break credit. And as a customer's request, let's just get that over with now, right? So Andrew was just one. Brandon, you have two, so you have a chance at a spot here. Now, <laughs> I'm gonna do this first, Matthew, but I won't be able to send out the break credit to you right now. So regardless, I think you're still gonna have to wait. Uh, Darren with two. That's just gonna take up too much time. David with just one spot. Jason won that spot. Jeffrey with two. Uh, Jeff with one. Jim Bly with two. Johnson with one, Kevin with one, Matt with two. Matt M with two. Matthew Stubblefield with one, two, three, four, so that's two entries. Mike Gallucci with two, that's one entry. Obi, Ryan D with two, that's one entry. Scott V with one, so I'm in with one. Tyler, you have two. That's one entry as well for you. So there you go. 11 out of the 30 spots. Let's roll it. And remember, top five get 50 bucks each, and that is after three and a three, six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, Michael Gallucci, Darren, Matt, Jeffrey, and Jim. Congratulations. I'll send you $50 at the end of the break. I'm not going to do it now. i got to get to the break now. So, But there you go. Out of the way, top five got 50 bucks. So take it as you have $50 in credit for a future break. If you decide you want to use that right now. Everybody there. I feel you, Tyler, but I think that would be very impossible. Unless there were no hits in the box. That would be very impossible. It's like randomly that case would have nothing. Alright, so again, you get three hits per box. No autographs are guaranteed, but it could be an auto relic. A relic, an auto, a relic card, a rip card, a printing plate, or books. Either one. Now, I've done a couple rip cards on the Instagram feed. It's always fun ripping those rip cards. I also did pull a dual rip card, Ken Griffey Jr. and, and Ichiro out of 15. That was awesome. That was a sweet, 
sweet uh, rip cart there. Although the customer didn't rip it, which I told him not to. I would advise him not to because, I don't know. He also knew it too, he wasn't going to do it, but that was a fun rip cart. I pulled one rip cart of Mike Piazza Mets edition out of 65. The customer said, let's rip it. And guess what came out? A mini Mike Piazza Dodgers edition. <laughs> so it's like a Mike Piazza inside of Mike Piazza. Who would have thought? But like I always tell people, if you decide to rip, there's always upside to it. Um, usually the minis are very short printed, so sometimes those still sell for about 20 bucks, if not more, depending on the player. But the possibilities of getting metal cards and all that stuff is what you're really trying to chase. The one on ones, the red ink autographs. Nice, Brandon. Well, good luck. Um, like I said, just kind of, you don't get no alerts when it fills or anything like that. You just kind of have to stock the website. Once you see that zero and sold out, when you click on that schedule, uh, when you click on that break schedule link, that Nightbot just dropped right in front of your text. If it's not on that list yet, it's only because I'm in the middle of a break and I haven't went through orders to see who sold it out. But it usually breaks that same day. Since it is sold out. Like I said, you just kind of have to stock the website though. If you missed the break, do not worry. Um, we record every video. So if you go to our YouTube video list and look for the break that you're part of, it'll just be the same title that you bought into. You can see the break video as if you were watching it live. So even if you miss it, do not worry. Every, every break video is recorded. And depending on the break, it'll tell you in the item description what ships and what doesn't ship. Sometimes we do not ship the veteran commons. But we do ship every other relic, auto, numbered card, insert, rookie, short print. Uh, but there are certain breaks that we don't ship the veteran copies. So you kind of just have to look at the item description. It tells you right then and there what ships and what doesn't. So yeah, you don't have to be present. You don't have to be present to watch it. That's the beauty of it. Just watch the replay like if you're watching it on TV. And then 
house on some breaks, everything ships too, so. Just gotta read the item description, that's all. Yeah, Brian, I mean, like I said, some people love them personal boxes because they say, hey, well, at least I'm getting something back. But, you know, if, you, if you're a person that's just chasing, you know, you're, you're chasing Wade Boggs and the, and the Rays or something, right? I mean, you're not going to go through every single box, box for box, to try to potentially hit a Wade Boggs or, or a Tampa Bay Rays hit. That's when group breaking, you know, kind of, kind of comes in and becomes a clutch, clutch thing, you know? Because you can specifically buy the Rays, you can buy a random team, you know, win a, one of the better teams that maybe wouldn't have cost that much. And if they did, you can buy the team that's most expensive straight up. And sometimes pay a fraction of the price. Instead of buying the whole box for 500 you only paid for the team, I don't know, 50 bucks, let's say. And it's 10 boxes instead of one. You know, that, that's the beauty of it. So, you're breaking. For some people, it's, it's the best thing for them. Because all they want is a, is a specific player or team. For some other people, they think personal boxes is the best thing for them because, hey, well, at least I get something. You know, obviously the group break inside of it can be a little harsh. You know, obviously. You might not get everything. You might not get anything. I mean, that's obviously the risk. But some people rather spend 50 bucks and not get their favorite team or favorite player or the player they're chasing than spend $500 on the box. And obviously I'm just talking numbers. Every... Everything at the end of the day is the same, except the numbers are always different. You might spend two thousand dollars on a box, or might spend five hundred dollars on a team. You know, at the end of the day, it's whatever benefits you. And there you go. First one we got is a mini framed auto of classic for the Cleveland Indians. Cleveland Indians. It's going to gym. Exactly, Brandon. Yeah, so some people, yeah, so you're one of the few that get it. <laughs> some people still don't understand the group breaking side of it. But, you know, obviously, if you're a person that has spent that amount of money on a box, I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, you're probably chasing the best player, right? The best team for that box. Maybe you're not. Who knows? But, yeah, you, you might want to spend uh, maybe two $300 instead of spending $1,100 and get that big team in a picker team or a random team where everybody pays the same price, right? And then you may end up with a good team, you may not. I mean, that's just the risk. And then, of course, depending on what comes out for that team, it all just depends. But yeah, you know, some people rather try their luck that way. Because at the end of the day, it's all about luck sometimes. You know, it's really, really just, we don't know what's coming out of these boxes. It's just all random and all luck. So that's perfect, man. So yeah. And that's the one thing for us, at least. Obviously, we're not the only ones that do this. But for us, we offer the, gr the group breaking side. 
seven days a week, and now we offer the personal boxes on Instagram seven days a week. So hey, if you're like, you know what, I don't want to do a group break today. Well, guess what? You, you don't have to buy do group breaks. You can buy personal boxes. You can mix and match. And people love that. You know, maybe some days they want to just buy a whole box because they feel like, you know what, I'd rather just. Ooh, nice. Doc Emmerich, sports uh, broadcaster for NBC that does the, uh, or Mike Emmerich, sorry. Mike, Doc Emmerich uh, does the Stanley Cup Finals every year for NBC. That's a very, very exciting voice. Yeah, and then the group breaking side gives you the rush. Oh man, I don't know what I'm gonna get. Oh man, I might, oh my God, I just won the Pelicans. I just won the Pelicans for 50 bucks, or I won the Pelicans for $200, and the pick your team cost would have been like $1,500. Now let's see if I can hit, you know? It's great. Shot. Kyle Lewis. And we got a rip car, Mr. Padre, Tony Gwynn, number to 75. So again, rip it or keep it. And again, you do uh, have a chance to get inside a red mini autograph, an exclusive mini parallel, an exclusive wood mini parallel, which is a one of one an exclusive mini metal or a one of a kind sketch card. So Matt K. There you go, you got a little rip card coming your way and you let me know if you want me to rip it here if not if not it's all good you do what you like there you go Matt tells me to and I will if not if he doesn't want to he wants to rip it himself that's all that's perfectly fine hey we're and comedian professional foosball player cook so you can be a comedian and a professional foosball player Kelsey Cook? I did not know that.
Asuna for the Braves. By the mat. got a frame mini autograph for Brian Reynolds for the Pirates. It's going to Michael Gallucci. There you go. Nice. Yeah, guys. So I got about 10 orders to go through. So again, this is going to take up a lot of the time out of all the breaks today. Bowman Chrome don't take too long. This is going to take double the time of doing two Bowman Chrome breaks. So, you know, good to get this one out of the way already early. So that way we can work on other breaks. Remember, the football mixer, all we have to do is sell out those four spots straight up, and we can break that. So remember, in the break schedule, we already uh, filled up a couple breaks. Uh, this one obviously being the biggest. So bear with me guys try to break this as quick as possible and if you guys want to get the next one going let's try to do that early rather than later because the later it gets guys it gets much later in the east coast only 3.30 here east coast already 6.30 so some people might be heading to bed a little early Carlos Correa Little relic mini. Houston Astros going to Obi. Luis Roberts. Check on these here. Make sure there's no red back or anything like that. Any one of ones are out of 25 reds. All right, nothing just yet. All right, let's go with the next three.
They're the Raiders. I mean, I love SoFi Stadium. I still think it's one of the most beautiful stadiums now in the NFL and in general. But that Raider Stadium, the Death Star, a.k.a. Man, when you're driving by Vegas right there off the 10, <laughs> that stuff looks crazy, man. There's Ryan H. Honestly, I kind of was Ryan. You just said what's up and then you never pop back in. Well, is this guy really just going to say what's up and just leave me? Just leave me here all alone? You know, I, I know other people need you, Ryan, but I need you here today. <laughs> Always postpone another court meeting. Alright? Can't postpone a Monday afternoon breaking with me. Oh, nice. So you got apparently have to get stuff done. <laughs> What's up, Arthur? How you doing, man? Hope you're feeling better, man. Very nice. That's good to hear, Arthur. But that's crazy, though, man, that you've had had that fever for such a long time. But, you know, your second test also is telling you negative. So it just must have been a bad one, you know? Hit you really hard. But I'm glad you're feeling much better, man. True, I mean it is also flu season. I mean you can't say you can't say not, right? I mean we I mean you kinda of forget that obviously the flu is still a very, very big thing. Not here, just in the world, but it just feels like coronavirus is just such more more deadly, that's all. Because you can have it without knowing. That's kind of the that's just kind of the, the thing, is that you you just don't show symptoms and you're perfectly fine. You know, but then Obviously, with the regular flu, you know, you kind of know when you when you're sick, right? Because you feel sick. But yeah, I'm, I have a doctor's appointment early tomorrow morning, so I think I'm gonna get a flu shot tomorrow too. Well, you know what's funny was that, like, my brother was, like, telling my dad the other day, oh, you should wait to get your flu shot uh, until, like, October because they say that the flu shot's only supposed to last six months. And if you get it in October, then that's pretty much all through March. 
So if you get it earlier, then you're gonna get like cut off. And I'm just like, okay, but I mean, I guess, but you, you can also just not get the flu shot and then automatically get the flu before you even get the shot. So, I mean, it's like, what are you gonna do, get another flu shot? <laughs> You gotta stay healthy, man. Right? You got a big job to do, man. Always be prepared, right? Exactly, Ryan. You know, I ain't got no minions. If I get sick, it's over for me. And I'll get replaced. <laughs> I was like, you know? But for you, there's no replacing the Ryan. Ryan Harold. Shut many. Bryce Harper, a little mini uh, friend relic with a little pinstripe on there. Phillies. When a Scott V and a Kyle Lewis mini as well. Johnny Bananas, reality show champion and host. You guys know Johnny Bananas? Uh, we're located in Southern California, Hermosa Beach to be exact, Los Angeles. If you don't know where Hermosa Beach is, but Los Angeles. About like four miles down Pacific Coast Highway, Sepulveda, uh, from LAX. But beautiful, beautiful Hermosa Beach. Gavin Lux. It could be Tyler, but I mean, I've done a lot. I did like about like three cases of this stuff on personals. There was a lot of box that didn't have autos. I think I think honestly, per case, you only get like three or four tops when it comes to autographs, and I think you get two rip cards per case at least, and the rest are usually just relics or mini frames, mini frame relics. Joey Votto, but I haven't pulled a box topper auto yet, so I don't know. I want to pull that triple box topper rip card though. I pulled one of those with him last year's Allen and Ginter, but not in this year's. 
De Jong. Pacific car, where's that at? Pacific dining car, I have no idea. Maybe it's just something else now? You like to go to Ocean Diner though, Ryan Harold? Oh, okay. They're talking about here. Baseball rider. Yeah, yeah, well, Westlake, yeah. I mean, not that far, but it's kind of far. <laughs> That Sensel mini frame relic. and radio hosts, Andy Cohen. Relic. Rapa, only for curbside, man. Hermosa, City of Hermosa is a little. The guidelines and everything is kind of messing it up for us, so. You know, we're still on uh, standby to see when we open up fully. But no, just for curbside. Blackman. Louis Roberts.
number card of Marcus Seaman. Four out of 25 red back. Oakland A's with that one. Alright, next three boxes, guys. Uh, yeah, Obi, we pulled, uh, I think we pulled two autographs. I'll do a little recap. Recap, but I think, uh, pulled a rip card and we pulled classic auto. Or maybe just one. I don't know, two autographs, Reynolds as well. It was Tony Gwynn for the Padres. Very nice, Kenny. You pull, I mean, sorry. Very nice, John C. You pulled a Kenny Lofton. That's right. Yeah, I always always turn around those mini mini cards because there's always a chance to pull a pull a numbered card. See Stewart, I already have a break schedule going. If you click that little link right there that Nightbot just dropped, uh, it'll probably be anytime after 5.10 Pacific. Which is this break was gonna eat up a lot of our time. Uh, after that I have uh, the Allure Hockey Pack, the Donner's Football Blaster, and then I gotta go through orders to see who sold it out. But I assume anytime after that 5.10 slot, it'll be posted on there. But since I'm breaking, I haven't went through orders and I haven't updated that schedule. But that schedule is there at Axis for you guys all the time. So yeah, there's like 13 orders, so not too long. So I'll go through orders after this really quick just to update that schedule. No problem, no problem. So I think I'm doing pretty good, guys, actually. I'm at 46th minute, including including the first four minutes that I took to do the randomizers for the break credit. So I'm on pace to finish this break in an hour and 25 minutes. 
I'm on pace. Pretty much all over. <laughs> I'm here at least six six days out of the seven days for sure. This week I was here for seven days. Broke for what four or five hours early on Friday, from like eight to one. Covered for Joe on Saturday, my normal Sunday Monday. This week I think if anything I'll only be here early Wednesday and then Friday and then I'll have Saturday off. If the um, The new release week is what we talked about yesterday. If nothing changes. Da, da, da. Alrighty guys, next three boxes. And look at that. Frame Mini Andy Cohen auto. Is 
That's going to go to the non-sport, non-MLB, Davids Ross. Got that spot in the little filler. There you go. And Mike Piazza for a mini relic. That's New York Mets. It's going to uh, Jeffrey. Nightbot, Brandon. That he keeps on dropping, dropping the schedule, or it keeps on dropping the schedule every like five minutes. Um, but uh, I haven't put it on the schedule just yet because I've been breaking this for the last hour. So you'll see it up there soon once I get done with this and go through orders. But like I told a customer earlier, it'll probably be around that 510, 520 nights, uh, 520 spot that's open. Two autographs. This is number to 25. How about another Reynolds for the Pirates? It's the second one. Scott Varell, or sorry, no, Michael Gallucci with the Pirates. Got brought the Phillies. Gavin Lux. Anthony Rizzo for the Cubs. Kevin Hamilton with that one. Johnson Relic. Dodgers. And Jason. Alrighty guys, let me check the back of these really quick just to make sure there is any other red stuff or potential black.
Jason Davis. to the U. Jordan and debut to remember. Next three. All right, last three boxes, guys.
hot box. The foil hot box. So I believe all these will ship for sure. Just none of the veteran base and other boxes. Should have been that might be more exciting, right? Might be more exciting. Alright guys, one more box to rip and then we'll go through all the box houses. Alright, then I got about 15 orders, guys. Like I said, after this, give me a couple minutes to clean up. Then I will go through the orders to add any other break that may have sold out, including the Prism Blaster case, uh, half case break, and the mixer. And then we'll add it to the schedule. And as you can see, Nightbot is dropping the break schedule about every five to ten minutes. So you're always like, hey, when is the, when, where's the break schedule at? Nightbot's always dropping the link to the Google Doc. Could do that. Could do, later, okay. Could do that. But no, they can do that. Or just stick with once. You know, it's a, it's a long season. They got Jalen Hurts. I'm not. I'm not. The sky's not falling for me either yet. Not working. <laughs> Trust. Expecting to. What do I? What do? What do I want to do? You know, I'm gonna ban you or something? <laughs> like, yeah, I got to him. Like, I got to him. All right, next box. Rodriguez. Nice. This is like our fifth auto. Juriel Jr. Blue Jays with that one. John C. with that one. There you go. Shella.
Buster Posey for the Giants. Got a Mac K. Little frame mini relic. Alright guys, so again, all these foil cards will be shipping, and it's just the foils, uh, that are, the base cards that are foils, everything else is still, still the same. Austin Meadows. Uh, Joey, there's been some nice stuff. I think nothing jaw dropping, maybe just yet. Correa, I'll go through a little. some nice stuff or jaw dropping stuff but I expect us to have at least one more rip card we've only had one so far and maybe some autograph top box topper maybe I don't know Mini Auto, Mike Tochman for the Yankees. It's been a mat. All right, guys. So again, um, after this, I'm gonna go through orders just to make sure that uh, anything else that's sold out is put on the schedule, and then we will continue on with that breaking schedule. So. The only ones I have so far are just more, just like little filler breaks on that schedule. So we should be able to get through that pretty quickly. And then it's just more adding like the football mixer on there, adding the five box prism or 10 box blaster prism break on there. And then of course, anything else they may have sold out.
Manny Machado, potential NL MVP, getting a lot of chatter today. I've seen some reports. There you go, Padres. Going to Matt. And we got a Randy Johnson rip card. And it's a double rip. Wow. Luis Gonzalez and Randy Johnson. 15 out of 20 going to the Diamondbacks and Brandon Morocco. How about that? Both for the Diamondbacks. Double rip. That's pretty sweet. Rip this card open twice if you dare. I would like it to be Mookie Oliver, but is it going to be between Mookie and and and, uh, and Machado now more than more than uh, more than Tatis since he has been on a little cold streak? John Carlos Stanton for the Yankees. Alrighty guys, and there you go. Let's quickly rip all of these box toppers and then we'll do a little recap. Alright, we got Barrios. Minnesota Twins. Another Barrios. Okay. Back to back. People are talking Freddie Freeman MVP, right, as well. That's going to go to the Braves. Well, Bichette. Robert. Oh, that's very nice. I don't think these fit in regular penny sleeves. So I'm going to just leave it back in here, but we'll put it in a proper top loader.
Lane Kershaw. Brand, I'm still doing this break, buddy. Just give me about like five, ten minutes. I'm gonna go through orders and then I'll add it to that break schedule. But Nightbot has been dropping the break schedule every five minutes. Um, but like I said, it's probably gonna happen after five ten in about an hour. Kristen Yelich. Oh, did you think Quinn Hughes was going to win, Brad? I think it should have been uh, Makar. Jordan Alvarez, topper. And there you go, guys. I am at the one, hun, uh, one hour and 21 minutes with 10 seconds point. So I have made it under an hour 30 with the randomizer already done. So there you go. Here's some of the rookies, of course. Bigger rookies like Robert Bouchette, Lewis, Kino, Alvarez. A couple of relics here at Emmerich, Bogarts. Stanton, Dodge Minato, Rare Relic, Jose for Mini Frame, Yoshela, Astudio, Davis. We've got a black border or black uh, mini frame to 25. Piazza, Andy Cohen, Uriel, Otto, Sale. Sensel, Johnny Bananas, Harper Mini Frame, Correa Mini Frame, Little Mini Alvarez, another Reynolds Auto, Plasek Mini, and a rip card of um, Tony Gwynn, Little Red Back to 25, and then the double rip going to the uh, Diamondbacks, Luis Gonzalez and Randy Johnson, 15 out of 20. So there you go, guys. This is the Topps Allen and Ginter Baseball 12 box case break for your number five on our website. Uh, coming up next is the uh, Upper Deck Allure Hockey Pack Break. Appreciate it.